The field of burnt rice. It is situated in the compound of a house belonging to Ku Halim bin Ku Hasan, Kampung Raja Mukim Padang Maksirat, 17 kilometers from Kuah Town. When a battle broke out between Siam and Langkawi at Pancho Straits, Datuk Kamboja, as chief of the Langkawi army, felt that they might fall into the enemy's hands. Immediately, he sent a messenger to Padang Maksirat to get all the kampong folks to collect all their party harvests to a place and burn them. The kampong folks dug a big hole in the ground and put all the collected party into it. This was done so that the Siamese would not be able to get hold of the paddy, which would be their main source of supply to get a foothold on Langkawi Island. From this incident until now, there are still traces of burnt rice which can be clearly seen from Ku Halim Ku Hassan's house. Legends also has it that all this happened due to the curse laid down by Masuri, the maiden lady who was falsely accused of adultery by her mother-in-law and was eventually executed only two years before the battle took place. She cursed the island with seven generations of misfortune which is said to have passed in the 1980s. So this is the area that was said to have the rice burnt because of that disaster there, the Masuri incident. And surprisingly, probably I'm lucky today. Look, I found or saw burnt rice down here. Probably ornamental, they just uh, mimic the burnt rice and put it here for the visitors to witness. But if this is something supernatural and it's just my own, my eyes just seeing them because probably I have a pure heart. <laughs> Maybe, who knows, but I'm really looking at burnt rice down there. Ah, okay, so this is the burnt rice. One of the Langkawi's famous historical tales is about one of the one about the burnt rice. Okay, you can read you can read that on your own. So this is the burnt rice, the one that I saw on the ground just now. So they proposed that we Give a little donation, but where's the hole? Oh, this is the hole there. All right, so him. 